Weather with Tom Kiffin. Well, Tom, I'm glad that it didn't look like this outside of our windows today. Yeah, <laughs> so they had some lake effect snow in the east, the uh, far east, closer to Lake Superior, like Sault Ste. Marie, Brimley, Whitefish Point, towards Old oh, Muscalonge State Park in northern Newberry, and over towards Grand Marais. But you can see the snow coming down good in Sault Ste. Marie. Our own reporter here, Brianna McLean, started out the day in the far east during the UP. And you can see definitely the snow flying around here. and. And uh, definitely some slushy roads as well. Now, and that's kind of important. We haven't driven on the snow since that uh, fateful day, May 1st. Oh, never forget. <laughs> yes, so we haven't driven on the snow in about five months, four months, mm -hmm. four months. No, it's five actually. Yeah. <laughs> but um, just keep it, take, I know we like to joke around here, but just take it easy out there on the roads here, especially if you encounter some heavier snow. Slow it down, use the hot, use the low beam headlights here, and just take it easy. Give yourself plenty of extra time to get from point A to point B, but as you can see, the snow flying around in the Sioux. And then there's another video I want to show here. We'll get to more 906 Weather Watcher photos here in just a second, but Sally pulled out the snowmobile today Ooh. in the Copper Country, and it looks like it's an old it's an old school snowmobile as well here and you can see the snow she got enough snow for the uh, snowmobile to come on out and take a little bit of a cruise there look at the snow hanging on the trees and the last of the fall color look at the snow adding up there on the swing there probably some good accumulation there I'll let that video go by one more time here and you can see there's the old school snowmobile and then look at the snow adding up decently there on the swing and even there on one of the cars as well thanks Sally for sharing that video to our 906 weather watchers page now we're going to take max one and show you some other weather photos today Peter in the copper country send in this into our 906 weather watcher photo group and you can see just some beautiful snow hanging on the trees there and also the last of the fall color around the Calumet area. Thanks, Peter, for sending that in. And then as we check out some other 906 Weather Watcher photos here, this comes from our friend Jesse in from Visit Keweenaw. You can see there in Houghton the snow flying around as well. If we got enough time at the end of this, I'll show a quick time lapse of the Michigan Tech webcam of the on and off lake effect snow. But thanks, Jesse, for emailing that to us here mm -hmm. at WJM and Local 3. And I merged it in with the 906 Weather Watchers. And then the final photo here. And this takes us to Western Iron County, a little bit of a dusting there yeah. at Tamarack Lake, Sandra Updike here. And the bottom portion of the screen, you got to look hard. The bottom right, that's a dog out and about oh, there I having see. a good time. <laughs> I should have. I should have repositioned that photo up a little bit. I'll tell you what, we'll do it again on Wednesday night. I'll show this photo again and I'll pull the photo up just a little bit. I'll have to write myself a note there. But thanks for a beautiful morning photo there of the freshly fallen dusting of snow in western El in western Iron County, Sandra Updike of Tamarack Lake. I almost said Elger County because I'm so used to saying <laughs> snow and Elger right. County in the same sentence. If you'd like to join our 906 Weather Watchers group on Facebook, it's easy. Feel free to join. We'd love to show off your photos during WJMN, Local 3 News, and also upmatters.com. So a little bit of changes in the last couple of minutes to the advisories and warnings. The winter storm warning for the Copper Country is no longer in effect. It has now been changed over to a winter weather advisory, and that is for the Keweenaw Peninsula now until 6 a.m. The National Weather Service is saying two to locally six inches of snow and the greatest will be north of Calumet and also into portions of Keweenaw County. We continue with a winter weather advisory for tomorrow for Gogebic and Ontonagon counties. And as we look at our local three radar network here, you can see that we do have some lake effect snow still ongoing across the eastern UP from about Whitefish Point back to just north of Brimley. But as the winds start to turn a little bit more south to southwesterly, that's going to take the bulk of that lake effect snow out over the open waters of Lake Superior. We do have an area of low pressure, a storm system that's moving across Minnesota. It's just off your screen. That's going to drift into Wisconsin as we go through the nighttime hours tonight. And what that's going to do is turn the winds a little bit more northerly tomorrow, and that's going to bring in more in the way of snow showers 
showers, including lake effect snow showers into the Marquette area. You can see temperatures are in the 20s to around 30, a little bit of a bite in the air. We do have wind chills around 19 for Escanaba and the wind chill at Sawyer International of 21. High resolution future weather model, you can see we do have some decent lake effect snow across portions of the Copper Country. It was all going to be wait and see where that heavier snow was going to set on up later tonight and the trend seemed to be from about Calumet to about Amique and Phoenix and then as you can see as the winds turn a little bit more northerly tomorrow I'll clear out that circle here just a bit you can see that we will have more in the way of some lake effect snow coming in to the Marquette area so snowfall amounts here as we go through the rest of the night, locally perhaps up to six to nine inches, maybe more for portions of the Keweenaw Peninsula and western UP. And then as the winds turn more northerly tomorrow, we could see locally up to nine inches of snow in the higher terrain of Marquette County. For tonight, lows will be in the 20s. A couple of UP spots, especially inland, could fall into the teens. And then basically what we have is tomorrow, yes, we have the snow. Now we're drying things out. And we could go on a little bit of a dry stretch here into the end of the week and into the weekend with temperatures somewhat moderating as well. Real quick here, just want to show you a brief time lapse of the Michigan Tech webcam here. You can see heavier lake effect snow here this morning. And then as we went into the afternoon hours, Becca, we've got a little bit of break from the snow. Sounds good. Thank you, Tommy.